We've talked a bit about what goes into the head section of HTML, but I'm going to um, take a look at, um, in a little bit of a departure, the HTML for my website, now uh, for my blog. This is produced by WordPress, and you'll see that it's actually um, XHTML 1.0 transitional, so it's a little bit different than the HTML5 we've been looking at. Um, and it also isn't very pretty because, again, um, I've written some of the templates for this, but it's kind of thrown together by the CMS, and it's not hand um, hand tailored like some of the HTML we've been writing. I basically want to cover a few tags the title tag, the meta tag, the link tag, and the script tag, I think, are the ones. Oh, and maybe the style tag are the ones that I'll cover just briefly. I'm going to leave a lot of this out, um, but uh, I want to touch on what's most important. Title we've already covered. It's required by all standards uh, to indicate what the title of the page is. We've actually run into this content type. It looks a little bit different for XHTML, but this content type meta tag. Meta tags generally, all of these tags actually, are ways of not communicating to the user but communicating to other computing devices on the web. So here, for example, is a description of the page um, that's designed for, for example, um, indexes, uh, search engines to, to deal with. This is actually addressing robots directly using something the robot called the Robot Exclusion Protocol, which says whether or not robots, that is, indexers, scrapers, can come in and, and read my data and follow the links. Um, there are a number of other meta tags here, but I'll, I'll uh, kind of leave it at that for now. Uh, the next one that we see is the link tag. This is really important, although it's not required by the standard. Most of the sites that you create will have a link to a style sheet because you want it to look pretty. So here's a link to link rel is style sheet and it links to the external file. Here it's actually an absolute URL to the style sheet, but in many cases it might just say style.css. Um, there are a number of other links here, for example, to the RSS feed, uh, to the pingback server, um, and so there are other ways to a short link, to an index. Uh, so there are a number of ways, oh, and, and actually Google has one to a link called the canonical that gives you the canonical URL for a site. So there's lots of ways links link is used, but the most important one for our purposes is this one, a link to a style sheet. All right, so let's move on um, to uh, the script tag. I'm going to show you this one first. Script type equals JavaScript, and then it links to, again, the absolute one. You might have just the file name, the source for the JavaScript. Um, note here that you have to close a script tag, and I'll show you why in a second. Again, this is the proper way to do it. You don't want the script to be dropped right into your HTML itself. Um, just like you don't want the style to be dropped right into the header, you want to be export. You want to be linking to things on the outside. Why? There's lots of good reasons for this. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about them later on. But basically, because it's easier to maintain, it's cleaner. Um, it makes it just makes sense, more sense across the board. So here we have um, a link to a, a script on the outside. Up here we have it doing what I'm saying we probably shouldn't. It was very common before. And in this case, we have a plugin that's dropping it in there for us. And there they've actually dropped the JavaScript right into the head itself. And here someone has used a style tag to drop CSS right into the head itself. Again, there's nothing that's not against the standard. There's nothing directly wrong with either of these two things. It's just messier and it's not good practice. So um, for as you're developing, I would recommend that you try to avoid this kind of nonsense where you're dropping style and script into the file itself and keep those external. All right, um, so that wraps up a, a very, very brief tour of some of the things you might find in the head. Again, the focus here is on link rel style sheet and later on we'll talk a little bit more about that script link.